Well, let's move on to another Steeler, a guy by the name of Juju Smith-Schuster. He's really coming on, had 19 targets in this last game, had a good week one on eight targets, caught over 100 yards and a touchdown. This is a guy who's got to be in your lineup every week. I've been hesitant up to this point, but I can't I can't hold back anymore. Can't fight these feelings anymore. Got to get him in there. <laughs> How you guys feeling about Juju Smith-Schuster? Well, before last season, we were on the offseason. We were against Juju right before the season rolled around. We kind of started to feel a little bit better about Juju. You did, for we sure. Were, came out and was like, I, he might be kind of good. Maybe we should. We're a little bit more in on Juju. And then before this season started, I had him I had him in the top 20, but I probably had him a little lower than some other people, you know, had him ranked. Uh, but right now, like, I just asked Big Co, like, if I probably before the season would have taken Adam Thielen right now, I mean, I don't think it's even a choice for me. I'm Juju all day long. Oh, you got S. Juju and that... I remember. I mean, Thielen's here. locked in with with Kirk right now. He, they're having a pretty yeah, but solid. Juju's twenty two years old. Th- twenty one. Uh, that's that's the thing is Thielen's already forty. <laughs> <laughs> the, the no knock on Thielen. That's not. I'm right, just saying. Right. It's just I use them as value, an example. Well, we have example. we have a hard time with Thielen because we were giving you Thielen a couple off seasons ago and cheap money when he was nobody even knew who he was and we were telling you to put him on your squad for free. And now he's like a second round, third round startup pick, and it's too rich for our blood at that point because sure. we've already exhausted that way before you needed to pay that for him. What we're good, do a good little recap there, Jay Wayne. To think about Juju for me, as I remember sitting here in the off season, we we're talking about mock startups and this type of thing, and Juju's value and his his value is undeniable because of the way he played at such a young age last year and his big you know big plays. But I was talking about his. You, this this season coming up and the 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 high value pick you'd have to put on him in a startup to get him coming into this season and the startability that he may have because of his targets and I remember we went through the target share of the Steelers and obviously that was before Le'Veon Bell didn't show up and he was going to catch eighty five balls right but and I was just like I don't see how Juju has enough targets as a second year guy in this offense with Antonio Brown and Le'Veon gobbling them up and everything else going on that to, to do, to return that value, even in dynasties, you still would, I mean, you know, you take a young receiver early enough in a startup and now he's clogging your bench up Why with that much value and he's hard to help you win games. And that's not been the case. Obviously Le'Veon Bell's not here, but I just, and I think that definitely helps out with, again, when we talked about, Connor and said he only had five targets and you wouldn't be saying that from Le'Veon like you saw Juju and and a B getting 19 you know, and 19, 17 right was, well and that, I think that number there, would be mitigated a little with probably you know I think you said to you know around probably 10 12 targets for sure. Le'Veon in this situation exactly well yeah you so you bring you take at least three three targets away but still. at least but that well you get a you get a 80 point game between the Steelers and the Chiefs and especially with the Chiefs jump out 21 to nothing in like eight minutes then, like you, you know, if 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 Roethlisberger's got sixty attempts, got to go somewhere. Sure. So nineteen targets, which again, the Steelers, that's what the Steelers do. They they just target a couple of guys. They obviously and just happen to have some of the most talented guys in the league. But nineteen targets is like half of that's a good game. That five for a one twenty week one on eight targets was a really good game. Right. It just you get into a shootout with the Chiefs who don't play any defense either. And so you got two teams that go for eighty points together. Then you get 19 targets. That's obviously you, that's two games basically. Yeah. That's two good games. Been 13 catches for a buck 20 and a touch. Right. That's not going to happen every week. But the five for 120 on eight targets week one was an, in a, in a slop fest rain soaked sure. game on the road against a good Browns defense is enough to show you just. Like you said, Juju's got to be in your lineup every week. I'm with you, Jay Wayne. I just didn't see it in his. I didn't see his. Put him in your lot lineup and don't think about it. Don't take him out. I just didn't see that as happening right away, especially yeah. maybe even all year long without some I mean, type of injury to Antonio Brown. That's not the case. Obviously, Le'Veon's not here, but Juju is for real. I and kept his him targets in targets are for real. I kept him in a rookie keeper league, and I certainly didn't play him week one. I was like. Yeah, he was my rookie keeper. Yeah, because he was exactly. just on my team, and I I didn't play him week one, but just a rising I, star. I did, There's I nothing did. wrong with a rising star, right. but all of a sudden when he turns into a must start every week, I did at plug him in last years week because he was playing the Chiefs, and I figured it would be a shootout. <laughs> yeah. It was the highest total on the board, so I was like, you yeah. know what, I'll roll the dice. Yeah, 
um, and it paid off. But I mean, let's let's just play a little bit of of the of the Juju Smith Schuster in a either and or kind of deal. Obviously, Doug Baldwin right now. You're taking Juju over Doug Baldwin. Not close. Right. Ooh, yep. Juju, Juju over Brandon Cooks. <clears throat> That's a good question because Brandon Cooks and the Rams and everything that's going on there just really re-solidified and bumped his value. Oh, yeah. But Brandon Cooks just went through in the last two weeks. He's just went through a, hey, look, this is what. Yeah. What, the forgotten man there for yeah. a little while. He's out there flexing. Like, I mean, right? literally. He's still a, still a back-end wide receiver one, one last year, but. It was just a little up and down. And, and you, you kind of label him as a. lot of uncertainty a, around him, and now all of a sudden. Right. Well, there's more than just big plays in store for him and he's going up making ridiculous contested catches in traffic just flexing on dudes and yeah. you haven't even seen him bust off a, a huge long touchdown yet I don't no it's think. just been great plays McVay's drawing right. it up for him and he's, in, right. he's right. in there getting the targets he did, he did lead the league in uh, pass interference calls last year and right. he's already off to a great already, start yep. again this year because I mean it's just hey you're going to get beat just grab him right but Cooks is a, is a guy who is another player I think I got to get in my lineup every week from now on Oh, there's no question. Right, Along so, with Juju, so Juju or Cook? I think I'll take Cooks just because I think because the quarterback situation in the long term. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with Roethlisberger. Juju still got Antonio Brown in front of him. Brandon Cooks is, I mean, yeah, I love Robert Woods and he's great. And Cooper Cup is is a great slot guy, but Cooks is the alpha guy there. I think right. and going to benefit. Well, I'll take Cooks. I'll take Juju. I'll take Juju. I like the system and the stability and the Cooks contract. Is in now for I, a while. I, I like the contract extension. I like the fact that Jared Goff's better playing days are ahead of him. Mm-hmm. And I think that Big Ben's obviously more. I mean, he's topped out, but he's. And I mean, it, if Big Ben can stay where he's at, great. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He just happens to be forty. So I I do see, but I mean, uh, you know, he's Big not Ben 40, talks. Is he? No, 38, he's 37. 37, 38. I, I embellish. I embellish. But you on it? But you know, so yeah, Jared Goff's the third year player here who's, you know, on an upward arc. Sure. 36. He's 36. He's got a 47 but year old body. Old 36 old for 36. sure. He slimmed down. That cut, <laughs> he slimmed cuts down. a year of he did damage off there. there. And he no. quit riding motorcycles, I do believe. There's no doubt he slimmed down. I'll take Juju still because Juju's name is just so powerful. Yeah, if but he stays Brandon where Cooks he is, Brandon is, is going to continue to rise there too. Brandon Cooks is a riser for sure, and he's he's you 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 love getting Brandon Cooks this year because you didn't pay as much sure. as you had to pay for him in the last two years. I will but say this for they Juju. were probably getting drafted around the same spot. I would imagine that's definitely worth looking at. Um, how about how about obviously we said Doug Baldwin, Jarvis, he, Juju, Juju. Woo. I know this is, this is getting hot. Josh today. Gordon leaving town, and now you're taking you're taking uh, Juju, huh? Yeah. All right. It's just Juju's climbing. Up I don't know. Here. I don't know if I, I. I don't know. I don't know about that, Jarvis or Juju. When I'm Sit. on the clock, I'm gonna go Jarvis. I know it. I, right here on these mics, shoot. And the and the Juju. You send send any. You send out Jarvis Landry for Juju and see how many rejections you get. Yeah, you're not gonna get him. Uh, I will say this for Juju. Last year, you know, as a rookie, albeit 20-year-old rookie, he had – oh, I just had the numbers pulled up in front of me, and then I had to look up Ben Roethlisberger because Big Big Co. doesn't know what he's talking about sometimes. Just back it up. No, it's already out of the back scenario How do you get out of the back scenario? Because you go forward and you change pages. And Anyway, what I've been trying to say for Juju in his defense here of – I don't know that he needs Does defense, he need but defense? in his rookie season, he have he had 80 targets, which wasn't a ton. I mean, it's, it's a fair amount for a rookie. Had 58 receptions, mostly relied on big plays. Um, right, I was going to say, yeah. He's sure. a big play dude, and you're seeing that again this year, but then you add this volume on top of it, and granted, maybe that volume goes down if and when Le'Veon Bell comes back because that just that that's a whole focal point of your offense that's coming back into the lineup. I, I feel like it's a lot It's going to get shuffled up a little bit with this team when he does come back. But, I mean, he's still going to have these big plays. He still has that name cachet. So, I guess I, could, I, guess I can stick with Juju over Jarvis just because you can, you can go turn Juju into something greater than what you could turn Jarvis into. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got, I mean, 
We all we we love some Jarvis Landry around here. I'm gonna. I, I would rather have Jarvis Landry. I I like the value of what Ju, like I like what you're saying. I like the return on what you can get uh, from Juju. I mean, I I'm st- I'm sticking with my guy Jarvis. Suck it. I want to, and if I was on the clock, I'd probably go Jarvis. How about well, Corey I mean, Davis? I don't. I just Jarvis Landry's got uh, averaging 11 points. Obviously. Juju goes through. Juju has a game where they got an extra quarter in overtime, and then he goes and plays against the Chiefs, where you're going to have to put up eighty, you know, put up forty to play. So that's not quite fair. But Juju's averaging twenty four points through two games, and Jarvis is averaging Let's fourteen. Start, yeah, so it's just I mean, a little bit of an two, out. It's two games. I'm not going to start going with it's two that games. We're having this conversation after two games, for so. sure. And you just said Corey Davis. Uh, I could. I got if, no problem taking Juju over over. Jarvis, I just like what Jarvis can do is is going to continue to do. Now Josh Gordon's gone, like you, you could see a whole lot more opportunities. He's coming battling a little Jarvis bit of an Landry's injury. Way. Who's well, been awesome and very consistent? I know what I'm getting. Sure. So Corey Davis, it feels like Corey Davis is about to take that next step. If fe- like he, they just this team can't get any momentum, it was nice to see him go out there and get you ten PPR points in a game where Blaine Gabbert's the starter. Absolutely, but he just hasn't he hasn't shown it f- to you just yet. He hasn't taken this league by the balls like Juju has. I think I'd have to go Juju. Well, I did go Juju early in the offseason when we talked about that part just because they were both young still and I wasn't counting on either one of them to be in my lineup. And for the big waves that Juju had already made, I did take Juju over uh, Corey Davis in this conversation in the offseason. And, yes, you got to feel – if you're a Corey Davis owner, you got to feel ecstatic about the target volume he's got and coming in his second year and the fact that this whole – the week one is just ridiculous because it took eight hours to get that game played and all those weather delays. And then week two – you got, you know, Blaine Gabbard in there throwing the ball. But you're still seeing the focus of that offense trying to go through Corey Davis. Delaney Walker's out for the year. So I think it only gets better for Corey Davis going forward. I don't know how it gets any worse to start the season. And he's already – and he's still scoring he's been some consistent. points. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think to play the game the right way, if I'm going to answer this question the right way, I, I think I've still – I, I got to go Juju just because of where he is and what he's doing and his value. And he's – if nothing else, if – a year or two or three more with Ben. How, how, I don't know how long Ben's going to be there. He goes from wanting to retire one year to being five more. It's week you know, to week with it's this week guy. It's week to week. Ben's so waffly. Yeah. But if, if Ben's in there, there's no quarterback anytime soon coming to Tennessee. Mariota's not going to flip a switch and be more, and be as, as efficient and as effective as, as, as Big Ben. Well, there ben might be a the new quarterback coming to Tennessee Who knows? by next yeah. season. Yeah. Um, and that's bad for Tennessee, So ben, ben may be being kind of waffly and Corey Davis be like, I don't. I'm assuming that these guys were probably semi close in ADP with probably Corey Davis being drafted over Juju in Most a lot of, of yes, they situations. Were close, so you already had Juju have a really nice rookie season. Corey Davis do nothing and still hold more value than Juju Smith Schuster. Sure. Um, so well, that's know. what happens when you get taken at number four well, or seven for overall. For sure. In but, the I, draft. but that's that's the Sammy Watkins effect. But what I'm saying now is that you know he was he was still more valuable than Juju, and now he's gonna he's getting a little bit more focus, and if the offense could maybe get some of its starting tackles back in a competent quarterback, which they were already targeting the shit out of him. I think Corey Davis has the potential to be more of like, he's got the Antonio Brown kind of potential rather than maybe Juju Smith doesn't quite have the, the top end potential of what Corey Davis could have. I think that'd be an interesting debate. I mean, it's obviously, we're obviously have- Juju's in a much better situation you put sure. Corey Davis on Pittsburgh and yeah you're like oh my god Corey Davis <laughs> yeah well but that's that but Juju is sure. on Pittsburgh and we're like oh my god Juju so yeah I get it I see what you're saying but um Juju has just looked every bit of I mean obviously at this point in his career he's he casts right. a huge shadow over Antonio Brown two more uh Allen Robinson who or Juju Smith-Schuster Oh, uh, wow. That's actually a question now. Good for Allen Robinson. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, had Allen Al- Robinson. I had Allen Robinson ranked 14th before the season started. So Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're 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 a bit you're you were not being denied on your Allen Robinson love. And I tip my hat to you. It's hard to uh, roll through one of the down seasons with 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 Blaine, Ga- not Blaine Gabbert, um, Blake Bortles. When Marquis Lee looks like the best wide receiver on the team, and then you tear his knee, you wrote it. You wrote it out like it wasn't a thing, and good well, for you. Because when you evaluate a player and see that he's actually good, that's what you do. Well, good for you. You did it, and and now Allen Robinson's getting some targets. He's just getting he a ton awesome. of targets. He does look good. So Allen Robinson or Juju? Mm, today, the I'm uh, today I would take Juju because it's safer. 
but it looks like Allen Robinson's about to be a t- I mean, that that Mitchell Trubisky can only he's get being better. A Rob's just being held back by Mitchell right now. Exactly, and that, but he's still just getting crushed with his, volume. His volume is already there, and if he, that stays there, he's going to be great no matter what. He's because being of the held, volume he's and being a good held offense. back by Trubisky, but he's being elevated by Nagy. Right, exactly, and as soon as that is, it can only go forward from Trubisky because he hasn't looked terrible. He just hasn't even been good yet. And the better he gets each and every week, if it, I mean, it may not be increment. It's going to be bumpy. It's the same thing I said about Tennessee coming into the league, coming into the year. Like I said, Tennessee wasn't going to look great. Could might probably not look good starting the year. And obviously, here you go. You know, it's hard to say because the quarterback gets hurt. But the same thing. I mean. You couldn't get any more opposite offensive schemes of what Trubisky just had to go through. Sure, you John Fox is gone. Nagy comes in, compl- like the complete opposite. One from one to ten, six to midnight, offense and Trubisky's just not clicking yet. Yeah. And, I'll, and Robinson's already starting to crush. Yeah. So uh, his so his got? ceiling is up there today. I'm taking Juju, but I, it wouldn't be surprising at all if this was a Jay you Wayne, know, big time, Allen Robinson slam dunk. Go me Allen Robinson. I'm there sticking it is. with Allen Robinson. One more. We'll go a ve- established veteran who's a little lower on the totem pole. T.Y. Hilton. Juju. I mean, Woo! You, any, you got you got a 21 year old who's already putting up points versus a 28 year old. Yeah. You know, older guy. Yeah. It's just it, that's just that's how, that's the name he of the might game. even that's be 29. Happens. Exactly. I love me. You might have just Hilton. undersold T.Y. Hilton's uh, age there. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go too, too fast, too too quick. <laughs> I did already call Ben. Just hit the Big back ben. button, Bo. I already, I, already, I already said Big Ben's 40 years old. I wanted to make sure I'd coast it into the T.Y. Hilton age there. What do you got? Oh, that's a toughie, but goody. He's getting bludgeoned with targets by Andrew Luck. And it seemed like this game, he seemed to maybe turn a page a little bit. He looked really fast in this T.Y., that is. Looked like he was ready to roll. I mean, he looked okay in the first game, but I thought he looked really good in this last game and was just getting some intermediate targets and yeah, and that's I agree, and that was that's that's out that's that's it that's in Washington. Wait till you get turn that corner, Ty, and come on back and play. I I agree with you. You get the age on your side. It's the age. That's that's the thing. I saw my nose at Thielen because he was a little older. Obviously, I think Ty's got a probably a higher ceiling than uh, Thielen has with luck and being kind of the only guy around and being make your play in one day kind of a guy um but the 21 and already doing his thing it's really hard for me not to take ty hilton in the situation though i just i think he'll be good i think you're getting it's three, hard i think you're getting three or four more solid years out of ty hilton here i agree with that but at that point ty hilton's on the quick down slope that happens every year when the guy gets older they just slide down to dynasty rankings and for no reason outside of the ages and then at that point Juju's twenty six. But still, I mean, we're talking you, I, just solely on value, a hundred percent. But yeah. to winning championships, I can see that. And see, that's the thing is, I I'm and really, Juju could definitely help you win a champion. I'm not saying that, dude, but T.Y. Hilton's got nobody in his way, and Andrew Luck. The last the last two startups that I finished, I didn't even I didn't even draft a rookie. You know what I mean? Like I'm all about yeah. veterans and decent and, and middle aged guys and dynasty. And let me win now, beat you up, and I'll get some youth later. But Juju's just only you know he's just he's about to past randy moss's yardage record and just based on age which is a kind of a you know toughy when you get when you come in that much younger you get more opportunity right. before you turn 22 but he's That's why it's all about the breakout age <laughs> <laughs> but juju just and the bro- college nominator juju's Ju- juju's breakout age in the nfl is ridiculous obviously he came into the league with that that stink on him that usc wide receiver stink where they had just busted 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 and that, I mean, he's good. He's good. Guy's he's good. really good. That's our uh, synopsis. He's good. I think I'll, I think I'll stick with Ty. Fair enough, Jay Wayne. I you could. Add, I mean, I in a couple it. years from now, I'd be like, dang it, I wish I had Juju. Well, I mean, yeah, we're not, we're talking about right now though. But yeah. this is dynasty, and so you have to not just. Think well, I'm about trying right to win. Now. I'm trying to win championships with Ty. Yeah, I, I I think you get it. I think you get comparable output out of juju and yeah, then fair enough five six at this point seven years younger I, it's, to me juju and it's not uh, I, I love ty Hilton. what if ben walks away from the game next year though what if Livian comes back and juju's target share goes down mm, good questions hmm. anyway give me ty let's get out of here let's take a break come back with some david johnson's let's do it